Hello, my friends. Coach B, it is another Whole Brain Teaching Sunday, and Brenda's here, uh, Terry's here, well, Tayama's here, Dave's here, and that's here, TC Pioneer is here, and oh, it, the joint is jumping. Hi there, Shelly. Shelly, you're a regular from now on. Brenda, hello. Uh, we got people joining like crazy. Uh, Stephanie, thank you. Everybody, invite your Twitter followers. Shelly, you're great. Melanie, hello. Gatona, you're a regular too. Uh, Stephanie, yes, hi back at you. It's a crazy day because we're giving stuff away and we've never given stuff away. Melanie, hello, Melanie. Tealy 10 e Haya, right down here. Uh, give me some hearts. But more than that, before we get started, invite your Twitter followers. Uh, let people know. Greetings to Six Howard, you're a regular too. And uh, Shelly, yeah, uh, J Valle 623. We have free stuff all the time, but not in a scope. Yes. Hello, TC Pioneer. Kathy from Australia. Kathy, what time is it? Giselle Chirino. Giselle Serino, because we don't use the Italian pronunciation. I'm thrilled that you're online. Uh, oh, sweet mama, says Gatona. Giselle, if you've got some suggestions as we go along, just uh, tell folks. And uh, happy Sunday <laughs> with you, to you, Melissa. Stacy, yes, Tiffany. Kristen and Lennon in the house down there in Louisiana. That's my godson. Uh, glad to see you. Yeah, K.A. Reed, I know you. Working in the lesson plans. Just wait till you see today's lesson plan. Julie Dupree, mwah, to you and all my friends in Bossier. Six Howards, you are a regular. And share on Twitter. You started the new rules. Chris from Illinois. How are the new rules working there in Illinois? My friends, invite some more friends. It's a amazing day today. It's always an amazing day, but this is Kindness Monday lesson. Stacy, don't you love character education? Infinite grit, six hours. Oh yeah. Teach. Uh, yes. Blizzard, blizzard. Blizzard, my dear friend, you did a ton of work on putting together that directory. We're going to get it out the door here. Not saying today, but it's near the top of my list. Klaus, they're loving it all. What's better from Bozier? Students love being gritters, not quitters. Yes, indeed, Stephanie Marie. My friends, invite some more. We've got about uh, four minutes till airtime. What's going to happen is, is that I'm going to go uh, up to right before the time, then I'll stop the webcast, we'll start again so we have a nice clean recording for everyone. You know, I don't think we have to do that. We're just going to roll right into it because on Catch Me, you can fast forward the recording. Um, so hearts, let the hearts come down here, my friend, and let's have some more people join us online. Who, there's my question, taking off the glasses. You can tell I'm kind of excited. I'll try not to calm down. Who has tried our character education unit already? Kindness, leadership, courage, and invincible grit. Who's tried it? Let me know. How's it working? Thumbs up. Started, says Shelly. Kids love giving notes to each other. Isn't that a beautiful thing? It's fabulous, says Stephanie Metter. Six hours at me and my teammates, says Tiffany. Uh, Brainy Days Shays, they love it. Uh, Stacy's given all kinds of applause and thumbs up. Is it time for character education? I think so. Adding courage this Wednesday, very good. Um, Dee Dee Long tried it. Kids are so excited to find out what Monday will be since we weren't there. Oh, it's a big surprise on Monday. It's awesome. Uh, Blizzard, Blizzard, you you know you're a middle school teacher and you weren't really crazy about the calendar last time, but 
I know you can make it work, Blizzard. Oh, yeah. All right, my friends, a few more uh, folks here. We're going to get started in about two minutes. Let me just check my screen. I'm going to check my screen just to be sure that uh, it's all, as we say in the Midwest, hunky-dory. I'm going, this is a good time, says Blizzard. Blizzard, is there any blizzards back there? Um, going to get my screen all dialed in here. Let's see. That looks pretty good, surprisingly good. I think I could go in a little bit tighter. Just cold, okay. Hello, Paula. Um, so one more time, who has tried our, our character education unit? Who's ready to try character education? We've got a brand new joke. Brand new. Tell your colleagues, I've got some characters. Let's educate him. Any, hello from England. Whereabouts in England? Just looked at it yesterday. Thank you, Brenda. Julie? Julie, you're... I'm thinking of a special award for you, and I want you just to not sleep until you figure out what that special award might be. Hey, from Louisville. Worcester, England. Is that the correct pronunciation? Do you have challenging kids in England? We just think they're just nice and polite. And why do we think that about England? Because they have English accents. How could you be challenging with an English accent? All right, slowly for a Russian. My friend, I am going to slow down. Do you have challenging kids in Russia? You don't need to take notes today. And my friends, it's time to start. Here we go. We always start on time. Here we are. So, Virtue Calendar, what is Kindness Monday? And there I am, as you can tell, an exact portrait of Dear Coach B. So, unabashed, shameless commercial Whole Brain Teaching for Challenging Kids and 122 Amazing Games. These, my friends, are best sellers on Amazon.com. Who's bought the book? Come on now. I know one or two of you. Well, Moffat's got both of them. Somebody else, Stephanie's got them both. You like them? Are you using them for doorstops? Lily's got both of them. I have it. All right. Need new copies because they're so well loved. Karen from Calgary. I can't believe you got any Canadian kids who are challenging. Thank you, my friends. So much for the shameless commercial. We'll show you how to have uh, uh, get a free PDF of today's webcast. Now, here it is. Joining from Bossier City, hello. Who is so excited? I mean, did this ring a special bell for you that you might get a chance to win a free book if you've even got one? There's something wrong with me, my friends. Something wrong. Because I'm not into door prizes and those things. I think no one is. That's not logical, and I taught logic. So yeah, we are going to start offering an opportunity to win a free book. You pay it forward. Thank you, Six Hours. Who would give me thumbs up or smiles and just say, Coach, you understand teachers. We love lotteries, chance, an opportunity to win something free. Am I on the right track here? Do I get it? Because when I put it on Facebook, it exploded. It was, do I, Maggie, do I understand you? It's only taken me 40 years. Okay, I get it. I get it. You like free. You like the lottery aspect. You like a chance. But I'm going to tell you this, my friends. There's a chance to win a free book, and someone today is going to win one. 
But if you even try to win a free book, check this out. Check this out. If you try, if you submit an application, you will get this incredible International Award Winner Whole Brain Teaching Honor Society Kindness Prize to display in your classroom an e-certificate and you don't get that with Powerball. You in? Who's going to be in charge of this? You know, it's going to be Nancy. But just wait. You know, don't get too excited. I'll give you details. Yes, Lily. Yes. An e-certificate to explain in your classroom. Oh. All right. So, we'll take questions at the end of the webcast. And let's start off by reviewing our new whole brain teaching rules. Now, don't panic. We're not throwing anything out. We're keeping all the just adding character education. Just add character education. Here we go. I'm going to give you the new rule gestures and I'm going to slide back a bit. All right, here we go. So obviously, rule one, follow directions quickly. Rule two, raise your hand for permission to speak. Rule three, raise your hand for permission to leave your seat. Ah! That's happy you're leaving your seat. Rule four, here comes the big one. Make smart choices. Watch the gestures. Kindness. Leadership. Courage. Invincible grit. One more time, the new gestures. Rule four, make smart choices. Kindness, leadership, courage, invincible grit. Then rule five is, hello back at you there, Tahoe girl. Good to have you. Rule five is, keep your dear teacher happy. And the diamond rule, keep your eyes on the target, please. Everybody got them. They know them all now, do they, Blizzard? Well, that's fantastic. All right, those are the new gestures. Now, here we go. We're focusing on kindness. But let's set up, hey, Burnwood, let's set up our days. So Monday's kindness, Tuesday's leadership, Wednesday's courage, Thursday's grit, and Friday's beautiful because, yes, Kim Cummins, isn't the diamond rule great? Kim, I can't wait to get your school on board with our new character education piece. So each of those we're going to focus on each day. Now here is the point I'm going to emphasize over and over. Listen to me. Listen carefully. Taking off the glasses. Each day has its own character education focus. I've told you what the days. We want to see all those virtues every day, but each day has one of the virtues as a special focus. Now, in a minute or two, I'm going to show you how to make the special focus on kindness on Monday stand apart from kindness the rest of the week. So one more time. Each day, focus on one virtue, but we want all the virtues every single day. It's just that each day gets a different virtue spotlight. Everybody on board with that. Okay. Now, put a star beside the virtue of the day. So, whatever the virtue is, you put a star by it. And... Tell your kids we want to see them all every day, but each day we're looking for one especially. Now here goes the lesson plan, and I'm sliding way up here. Don't take notes. I'll slide back slightly. Let's just go over the lesson plan. We're going to define kindness 
Kindness defeats selfishness. <laughs> that, kid, that helps kids understand we've got virtues and we've got vices. Kindness is the most important virtue. And I, yeah, yeah, screen because it's on the PDF. Let me just talk about it. <laughs> You're going to tell kids, of all the virtues, kindness is the root foundational virtue. I'll explain why. You could have a criminal a dictator, a drug dealer, who was a good leader, who was courageous, who had invincible grit in dealing drugs. But if that terrible person became kind, he couldn't deal drugs anymore. You see, kindness, if we had one focus in American education, if we can make our kids kinder to each other, our classroom management disruptive activity problems would vanish. Who's excited by the singular focus on kindness? Now we work with helping teachers teach challenging kids, but it's so much simpler to say, listen, Let's help them be kind. You know, if you're kind, you're not going to throw a fit and roll on the floor because that keeps other kids from learning. You know, my friends, uh, I don't have a simple way to put it on the website, so please get to uh, Facebook. Just focusing on kindness has made a huge difference, says Melissa. Word says, <laughs> all right, teaching Andre. Imagine all the kids living kind lives. Now, our next point in our lesson plan is the shortcut to kindness is using good manners. When you're kind, everything you say and do makes you a good person and you use good manners. Please thank you and you're welcome those wonderful words. Everything you say and do is then good because of the central magnetic power of kindness. So when we teach kindness here in the beginning, we're going to have some cool ways to teach manners. The last point of the lesson plan is that there are three kinds, three varieties of kindness. Kind words, kind actions, and Kindly facial expression. Get it? I think you do. So, there's the lesson plan. It's in the PDF. Those are the points to emphasize on Kindness Monday. Now, every Monday, select one routine. And you're going to use this all week. Here's, here's a, about six routines. This is the fundamental one, watch me. You're teaching along, you say thank you, and your class says you're welcome. That's it. Ooh, your hearts are together. Thank you, you're welcome, says your class. Just that little moment, it's mutual warmth. You're being kind and you're getting kindness in response. Yes, oh sweet mama. Now, more variations on this. And this one's important. I'm taking off my glasses here. Listen to me. Listen, this is huge. So often at every grade level, we give kids praise. Say, John, that's a good job. Tasha, I like how you're playing it, paying attention. And they don't say anything back. We're tossing out our heart to them and they just... Uh. So another version of the kindness routine is, you say, Tasha, very good writing. She says, thank you. And you say, you're welcome. So when I praise you, I say something nice, you say, 
thank you. And I say, you're welcome. We need to make a connection to the kids we're praising. It's like, woo! I don't even respond to you when you say something nice to me. Come on, true confessions. How many teachers out there are saying nice stuff to kids and getting zero response, not even a facial expression? Come on, Stacy says always. Teaching kindergarten says yes. Moffat says me. Stephanie all the time says Shelly Boko, sometimes says six hours. Uh, Black Doll Loves MJ says me all the time. It happens, absolutely. Blank stares sometimes. Kids don't know how to handle it. Okay, so we have various kindness routines, giving praises one. Now, let's get please in, please in there. You say, please line up quickly. They do. You say, thank you, and they say, you're welcome. So, whenever kids are doing something, you're, say, you're gonna say, please, they do it. You say, thank you, you're welcome. So notice how we're scaffolding this. We're not gonna teach all the manners every single day. In this PDF, I give you six different ways. Let's just look at the six different Pick one of these every Monday. We want kids to uh, ask questions that contain the word please. We want to hear kids say please, thank you, and you're welcome. And you know what I'd like? Who would love this? I'd say, you know what? We've been working on manners now on Monday, every day of the week. I'd love to see a kindly smile. Wouldn't you like to see a, some kindly smiles in your classroom? I go in the classroom and you think the kids were in detention. They're like this. Let's have a kindly smile on our face. Can I get three cheers for kindly smilingness? Now we're not jumping into it tomorrow, but let's just work on Kindly smiles, pleasant tones of voice. We're here, we're friends, we're learning together. Kind faces, that's huge. Cheers, oh yeah, hip hip hooray, says Blizzard. So let's work into that. We got lots of Mondays. So in this PDF, I show you six different things that you can focus on on Monday and keep it going for the rest of the week. Now, here's the other piece. This is huge. Here's the other piece. When you pick something, then the kids are gonna create their own suggestions. So the kids will come up with their s s things that they're gonna focus on that day. Don't push in line, share, keep your hands to yourself. So you pick one thing, and then they talk on other kind actions they want to focus on on Monday. Let's get this straight. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Friday we do it all. Get this straight. You pick one virtue that you're going to focus on. And on that particular day, they make suggestions of what other things they can do to focus on that virtue. So all the virtues all week, but each day changes because the kids are coming up with their own suggestions for that particular virtue. That means that we can take Kindness Monday and really expand and explore it. What kind actions do you think we might take today? Mm, what kind words? When should we have a kindly facial expression? Oh, oh, okay, let's just pick two or three. Then Tuesday, this is we're focusing on leadership and kindness and all everything else today, but what would you think would be some examples that we could especially focus on in terms of leadership today? Wednesday, how about courage? Thursday, how about grit? So each day is unique because 
we're looking at the kids' suggestions. Do you see how that just turns character education into a flowering, beautiful plant? How do you like the kids' suggestions? Give me thumbs up. Give me exclamation points. Give me lots of hearts. Kids creating their own character education plan changes daily. And it'll go great with triple whammy writing. You're right. You're right, Stacy. Blizzard, Blizzard, you're just... Blizzard, you're going to be the character education queen of middle school. Love it, says Moffat. Gatona says, oh, yes. Shelly gives me multicolored. And Andre Desitel, student in input, student ownership. They'll care more about it and pride. I feel a wave of kindness sweeping across the land in this scope. Wahoodles, says somebody. Nancy says yes. All right, let's. So, uh, quick summary. Put a star beside kindness on your virtue list. Demonstrate your routine. Tell your kids you want to see kindness all week. Get them to make suggestions. And put that list on the board. Very simple. Let's keep going. So examples might be, you'd say, please, thank you, and you're welcome to each other. Kids might say that, or help each other, or share on the playground. That's their list. And then I've just included lots of examples here of when you just say thank you. You're all really focused on me. I'm shocked. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go through these examples real quickly. So the teacher says, Thank you for lining up quickly. The kids say, you're welcome. Teacher says, everyone's following rule two. Raise your hand for permission to speak. Thank you. Kids say, you're welcome. Teacher says, as I'm walking around, I see such neat writing. Thank you. Kids say, you're welcome. Teacher says, Diego, Sophia, and Tasha, and everyone else, working hard. Thank you. You're welcome. So vary your tone of voice, vary your pacing. Without variety, you're going to lose engagement. Relationship building skills, says Ms. Shelton, and you are so right. Griffin can't wait to spread it around her school. Spread it around the nation. Join us. Can't wait for tomorrow, says Stacy. So here's our little summary. Every Monday, focus on kindness. Create a short list of student suggestions of kind actions for that day. Use the please thank you routine frequently. Emphasize you want to see the other virtues as well. Leadership, courage, and invincible grit. Definitely use Super Improver with this and the scoreboard. Here's our fancy dancy display. Look, look at this one. Let me zoom back here. So this shows us. Thank you, Julie. I can't wait for Bozier. Bozier is the whole brain teaching capital of the world. This shows that each day we have all four virtues available on Facebook. We're going to put this up as a PDF. So each day we have all the virtues, we just focus on a different one each day. So our last word here. Our central focus has always been teaching challenging kids. The more kindness, lessons, examples, experiences in your classroom, the better your beloved rascals will behave. A rising tide of character of education lifts every kid's boat. So part of this PDF will include, I'll take questions right now. That's what it'll include. Anybody got any questions? I'm going to take a, a, a shot of soda here. Hey, Maddie, good to have you online. Maddie Mann, one of our rising stars who is becoming an expert in Invincible Grit. Any questions, my friends? Katona, you're welcome. We haven't talked about the free book deal yet, my friends. It's coming. 
Any questions? Seems clear to me, but of course I just thought it up. All right, everybody's on board. Here we go. So uh, every Sunday, who's digging the Sunday scopes? Every Sunday from now on, it would work with please, okay, la, la. Digging the Sunday scopes? Kind of neat to be reliable. You don't have to wonder what to do on Sunday afternoon. Tune in and... Uh, Blizzard, I'm not sure. Send it to me again. Scheduled scope, says Ms. Shelton. Likes them. Next time, it's Leadership Tuesday. Change it if you wish. Next Tuesday, Leadership Tuesday. And it gets you excited for Monday, which is cool. Here's people to follow. Here's our resources, all come in the PDF. And in 15 minutes, I'm going to put the download up on the Facebook page. Tiffany likes it. Here it is, my friends. Definitely click on WBT Freebies at Whole Brain Teaching. Get 24 email lessons once a week. Get ready. Teacher, you're just going to have to make those changes. Uh, there's no whole brain teaching police. Experiment. You want an on-site training? Email me. And here it is. Win a free copy. Here's the deal. Send us a powerful action plan for implementing kindness lessons in your classroom. And if we select it, you'll win a free book and make your kids famous. Take a picture of that screen if you, if you want to just get started right now. Now, it isn't every action plan. The best one each week will get a free book. Who's excited? Let's do an action plan. Send it to Nancy. And if she picks you, she will send you a free book. Stephanie digs it. But not only that, my friends, it gets better. Anyone who sends an action plan to Nancy will get this incredible display for your classroom. You can show your kids that they are international award winners and members of the Whole Brain Teaching Honor Society, and they got the Kindness Prize for 2016. Submit an action plan, put this up on your wall, and next week we'll have the Leadership Prize, and the week after that the Courage Prize. How many international awards can your class win? You're going to get an e-certificate when you submit the action plan. So one more time. You send us an action plan to Nancy Stoltenberg. She'll pick the best one. And your box is going to be full, says Stacy. She'll pick the best one. Nancy Stolten. And just for submitting, you get a prize for your wall. You can say to your kids, Hmm, what do you think would be a good way for us to teach kindness? I wonder if we're going to win this prize. And then you start putting the awards, and everyone's going to be a little bit different. They're going to ask you on Monday or Tuesday, did we win? E-certificate. Oh. Stephanie Matters on it. All right, my friends. Who's going to tell some new colleagues to follow at Chris Biffle? Let's get the students involved, says Blizzard. How do we send an email? Yes, send it to, look at it again. There's her email address. Nancy, put your email address up.
Tell your friends and neighbors. Nancy Stoltenberg, WholeBrainTeaching.com. Let's have 80 people next week for Leadership Tuesday. And then Courage Wednesday and Infinite Grit Thursday. And we got lots more to do with character education as the year unfolds. Every Sunday, we are going to just build a beautiful character education system. We're going to do virtue writing, virtue math, virtue reading. The universe is open to us. And it's going to be infused into our academic lessons. It isn't going to be, we're good over here and we learn phonics over here. We need to be virtuous all day long in a fun whole brain teaching way. All right, my friends. Who are you? Where are you from? Let the names and places flow down the screen. Oh, you did leadership math problems. Yes, and definitely you can see replays of these videos at Catch Me. Catch Me backslash Chris Biffle. And we'll put that on the Facebook page. Thank you back at you. Liz from Elizabeth. Here we go. Sebring, Florida, Oklahoma City, Hawksville, Kentucky, Bozier Kinder, Bozier again, Nancy, New Brunswick, Oklahoma, Shreveport, uh, Edmond, Oklahoma, Kingwood, Texas, another good old Julie Dupree, thank you, bless your heart, Kansas City, Pasadena, Boston, California, Pittsburgh, California, Lafayette, Louisiana. We're coming down there, Andre. Rhonda from Wichita, Kansas. Thank you and God bless you back. Winston-Salem, North Carolina. All right, until next Tuesday. We want to keep these nice and short. It's Coach B signing off for Whole Brain Teachers United. Yeah, Whole Brain Teachers United. Power to the teachers and see you in a week. God bless us all, my friends.